Hello everyone and welcome to meditation using your second chakra. We're going to be meditating and manifesting and creating through the power and energy of our second chakra below our belly button above the pu pubic bone. Excuse me. Your second chakra has a beautiful orange hue and it is like the womb of creation in this situation. So that's how we're going to see it. It is the vortex of creation. It is the place that you have and you hold within yourself, but it also expands. So you're like a radio transmitter with your chakras. Remember that it's not just contained right here. And so as you begin to focus and visualize, realize that you are actually a broadcaster and you are broadcasting your own little station out into the universe and universal life force energy is there for you. Love is there for you to support you, to give to you and to gift to you your heart's desire. And whatever you happen to be birthing, whatever you're focusing on, it's so important to remember that the womb of creation right down in here, when you focus on this area, it could be used for conception of that idea at the beginning or, or, you know, during the conception of that idea, like, oh, I think this is what I would love to manifest. You're clear on that. Or if you've been working on it for a little while and you've come to the conclusion that I've got all these synchronicities happening and I don't know what to do with it. So I need to go in and I need to birth this thing because I feel it so close to me. I feel that it's near to me that it's, you know, it's like all of the signs are wrapped around me. And so I'm going into the birthing area, into the place of conception and manifestation and creation and allow it to give you some more insight and information regarding obtaining it because, you know, inspired action is real important as well. So let, let it just be your springboard to take you into inspired action. Let it give you clarity when you do this meditation and just have fun with it, you know? Be loose with it, be happy with it. Don't get too intense, don't be too rigid with it. Just trust and allow, trust and allow, trust and allow. That's the best thing that I can say for you right now. And so let's kind of just take a deep breath in and go into it and just see what comes up, okay? So take a deep breath in with me and hold. And now let's blow out. Deep breath in and hold. And relax and blow out. Deep breath in and hold. And just relax and blow out. Now I'm going to do something here. We're going to see universal life force energy coming down through us. And you don't have to do this, but I'd like to do some energy drawing. Just use your intention. What I like to see is an indigo color or a violet or a lilac hue. You could see gold, white light, whatever, silver, whatever kind of inspires you. Just set your intention to it that you are drawing universal life force energy through the top of your crown and plunking it right down into the second chakra. So if you'd like to right now, just kind of use your hands and feel a little bit of the energy until it gives you some resistance. Let your hands warm up and then take one of them and put them right, put it right at that second chakra area above your pubic bone, right below your belly button. You can touch your body. You can let it just float a couple of inches and just let that energy settle in right now. Take a deep breath in. And as you blow out, just see that energy becoming more intense. And relax. So I'm lowering my gaze. You can close your eyes, but this is how I clairvoyantly see. And what I'm seeing right now is a lot of indigo color, and that's the color of the third eye, this area right between your eyebrows on your forehead. 
The third eye is a place of clairvoyance and clear seeing. The third eye is also an area, and this is kind of the message that's coming forward to me, is that a lot of you are going through some hesitation or difficulty in your manifestation because of the clouds. And it's like there's a gray cloud over you. It's like no matter what happens, it doesn't seem to complete. And I want to just assure you and um, I guess encourage you to understand that sometimes we have to allow the clouds to do their job and they're just speaking to you that you need to take the time to clear yourself a little bit more and get more clarity and work more on your third eye, more clairvoyance into your life and becoming more aware. And this is the thing, you may not be receiving all of the signals because you're not looking enough. You're too distracted, you're going through depression, you're going through anxiety over something that you might have a timeline about, and you feel like this is an anxious moment, okay? Or maybe uh, you're, you're going through something that has caused you some heartache or some heartbreak, and I can relate to that. And the clouds are there. But understand that clouds have been there or they might accumulate there in order to make you stop and become aware of them so that when you do focus, when you do manifest, that your manifestation won't be incomplete. You know, when you've got something that's a gray cloud hovering over something that you're creating, you're not going to create it its best, okay? And we're not going to settle for second best. This is my thing. We're cutting off second best, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't jive with me. Don't go with me. We're not doing second best. You want the very best. You deserve the very best. And you've go through a lot in your life. We come into this world. We grow up through this world. We go through so much in society. And we all, no matter where we're at in our lives, no matter what we've done, this has nothing to do with who we are as a person. We all deserve the very, very best. This is source energy. This is God energy. This is God love. This is unconditional. You deserve the very best. You deserve healing, healing for yourself for your family members, for those who are around you, healing for the world, for peace on earth. You even deserve those physical manifestations that you really, really desire. You deserve to have those things. And we live in a universe that is filled with abundance. And a lot of times we block off those abundance things from coming to us because of the other things that we've experienced in life that are unhealed, or that we're going through in life and they keep us from clear seeing. And so, you know, we feel so cut off from the manifestation that we really, really want and desire. So let's just kind of channel some of that energy down into your second chakra and let's just take a look. Just allow the energy to go into the second chakra area just below your belly button and watch it swirl around with whatever color you've chosen with your intention. And I'd like you to now, if you will, breathe with me in and then out. And when you breathe in, see that manifestation going right into your second chakra, okay? So let's take a deep breath in, visualize. And we're gonna send it out to the universe and release, blow out. See it go all the way out. We're releasing it to the universe, to universal life force energy, to creation energy, and to divine love unconditionally. Take a deep breath in one more time. Watching it go into the second chakra, that place of birth and creation and release. Just blow it out into the universal force universal areas we we'll see it go all the way out some of the clouds are clearing and if you could just close your eyes or just lower your gaze excuse me if you're not doing that already and visualize that thing that scenario see how clear it is for you allow the background to be as nullified as possible I still see some of that indigo color. 
I'm just going to send some energy right now just to the third eye area. So, you know, I'm holding my energy. And I'm going to send that energy to you right now. You know, we're just intention is so amazing energy is so amazing so this time i'd like you to bring in the intention that you want to see your synchronicities very clearly i can see clearly now okay lorraine's gone hopefully rain everywhere is, is gone for the moment the clouds are parting the clouds are parting, so let's just see the clouds parting and let's see that thing very clearly. Those synchronicities will just draw them into you and that, um, use your imagination, but that intention, that synchronicities are going to be seen by you, that there isn't anything that's going to distract you from them. So let's take a deep breath in and we're bringing in those synchronicities loud and clear and release them out into the universe. And we'll just see the clouds just part. Deep breath in, synchronicities come towards you. And release out to the universe and the clouds are parting. Beautiful. Okay, so as you do a meditation like this, and you do this for yourself, remember to use your intention. Intention is everything. Allow your clear seeing to be very clear. So if you're really, really struggling, and it's like you've been trying to manifest this thing forever, part of you might not be letting go enough because you need to let the law of attraction in the universe to its job. You are not its job. You are not the one. <laughs> you're not the one. You're the one creating it, but you're not the one doing the job. You are helping, you are co-creating, but a lot of the universal life force energy is not working with you or could not be working with you because you're not allowing it to. So you wanna trust and allow. And you want to focus on your clairvoyance to be able to see clearly. I want to see the situation clearly. Is this what I'm trying to manifest for someone in their best interest? If it's for someone else, is this thing that I want to manifest for myself in my best interest? Give me synchronicities. I want to hear from my angels, from my guides, from whatever master you aspire to, if there is one. I want universal life force energy to help me with this. Please help me. Please guide me and help me to be less distracted. Let's cut off all distraction, okay? Because we go through so much during the course of a day. I mean, it's so easy to be distracted. And sometimes the easiest or best thing that you can do, and I want to give you this um, suggestion, is to set your phone because we're all on our phones. Sorry, there's a car going by. But set your phone to specific times. And when the timer goes off, this is your intention that you stop everything as much as you possibly can because things do come up because you can then reset it. But stop intentionally to take the time to do some of your intention work, to do some of the moment to just clearly see and allow that clear seeing that clairvoyance to just pop open and reveal to you as you just close your eyes and settle in take a few moments and whatever it is that comes into your view or your vision allow that to be something that you can use as maybe your next step your next inspired action whatever you intend for it to be wherever space or place that you're at in your place of manifesting. That is what you wanna ask for. So I set my timer if I have to. 
and that settles me into a space where, okay, you know what? I'm separating myself from the rest of the world and I'm not doing the world right now. I'm doing my world right now, my world, my universe, and whatever it is I desire. Because, you know, giving to yourself is okay. You're even giving to yourself when your manifestation is for giving to someone else. So all of that is okay. Just know that whatever it is that you desire, it's okay to desire it because you're okay, you're loved, you're cared about. And so let's tie this up with just me telling you, God bless you, many blessings to you, namaste. And I know I've walked through this kind of quickly. So if you'd like to go back and just review it again, or just do it on your own, you, know, you will find your own style. And that's something that happened to me. I went through various um, different trainings and teachings, and I'm still doing that, and various different energy modalities. And I found that when I do energy work, I stand people up and I do energy work like I am painting on a canvas. I mean, literally on a canvas. It's like an energy canvas and I do it to music and I just about dance when I do energy work for people and help pop them open a little bit. And that's my own style and you'll find your own style for energy work, for manifesting, for your dreams, for whatever it is that you want for the people around you and for yourself. So I am so loving you from here. Thank you. I am so grateful for you to be in my space and to allow me into your space at this very now moment. Namaste.